Hey everybody, it's United Gamer 101 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. In the last part, we did a mission with Bentley and set up some drinks, and then we did a mission with Sly navigating through the vents with an RC car. In this part, we're going to take on this mission right here, but first let's use this awesome skill and shoot him down. Let's see what we got here with the mission for Tennessee Kitch Cooper Blind Day. Ooh, he's holding on. That's not good. Looks like Toothpick rustled himself a pretty lady. We jumped like jackrabbits. That's no lady. That's Carmelita. What is she doing here? You know her? I'm afraid so. Something is very wrong here, Tennessee. But all quantum physics aside, we have to rescue her. Nobody could get there faster than you. I'll grab Sly and Murray, and we'll meet you in the van. Just get going! Okay, I did not see that coming. I thought she would... I, I knew she'd get involved somehow, but not this early, and not with him. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure that's going to add to the story a little bit, Tennessee. Cooper. Alright, so... We're supposed to go this way, right? Yeah. So, okay, that doesn't. I was hoping that would keep going straight, but no. Nothing of importance. There is actually a way you can grind for money easily if they don't have any special, you know, like items. You can just uh, pickpocket them twice and then shoot them, and then you get the maximum amount of gold. Just so. anyway. Too happy to get rid of this one. Eey, her tongue sharp enough to cut leather. <laughs> Stinking cowards! Afraid to untie me and fight like men? I swear when I get out of this. No sense fretting about that little lady. Mm, cry, cry, little dear. Yes, just enjoy the ride. <laughs> uh oh, what we gotta do here? Guessing we gotta catch that. <laughs> That's right. Oh crap! Okay, you can stop any time. Well, whoops, that was my bad. But um, I thought it was asking me to go over there, not actually shoot those. Anything else? No, just those three. Okay, you can stop any time. Now what? Oh, okay. I had to wait for them to blow up. I realized that. <laughs> doom, 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 doom. I don't see any more. Is that all of them? I think I did something wrong. Where's Carmelita in them? Oh, there they are. Oh, okay. I think I'm good. I thought they actually they would harm them, and then I'm like, oh well. They keep respawning, and it's not doing too well. Uh, but no, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Getting a little bit nervous right there. No, no, go this way. Anybody else? Anything else? Yep. Yeah. Anything else? Nope. Are you enjoying this? Uh, yes, madam. I am. Who? They need to make it where you actually have to do. No, oh, that was too close. They didn't make it where you actually get to do it while you're riding. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it looks about everything. Dang it! I wish they let me get ahead of the game, but no. Thank you. Oh crap, no! 
At least you can redirect, like, redirection yourself. That's awesome. That makes things a lot easier. What about the gigantic train? Chain. This is like one of the most awesome methods, just because of the aspect of this shooting, you know, feel of the game. That's so awesome. Like, even, like, the aiming's pretty cool, and you know how it's, but then, like, when it goes, like, after, I'll just show you what I mean. Well, apparently I can't aim on him, but I can't really show you because it didn't let me. Let's see if I can get it this time. Why can't I aim at him? What, what is it? Like, pa, 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 pa. That's pretty awesome. Okay, hopefully. Are we good? Can we cross? Don't hit me, hit the thing. Thank you. Alright, we got this. I have yet to mess up on this train, uh, riding on the train tracks so far. Should be pretty good. Got it? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that was pretty good. Let's keep going. Oh crap! Nope! Go back. I look, if they made it where you could not go back, like, in air, mess up, then... No! Oh, so close to doing it perfect. I didn't even need to double jump and I did it anyway, and that's why that messed up. I was just trying to put it to point and it completely messed up. But uh, if they didn't make it where you couldn't double jump, that would make it so much more difficult. Because, like, it's pretty cool, like, you can go there, then back. Bam, 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 bam. It actually falls in the order you actually aim it to, which is pretty cool. Well, I'm trying not to get hit. Let's go. Let's go. Don't fall, Tennessee. Looking like they're ahead of us now. All right, let's go. No. I didn't say you'd jump that way. Nope. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Bam, 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 bam. Well, really now. Now where do I go? Everything's under control. Pleased to meet you, ma'am. Why, I'm Tennessee Kid Cooper. Don't tell me. You're a Cooper, right? I knew it. Yes, ma'am. Bentley told me you... Stop calling me ma'am. The name's Inspector Fox. Wait, Bentley's here? Well, looks like they're right behind us. Carmelita, I'm glad you're okay. Why, that conniving little... Much obliged for a helping hand, Inspector Fox. Let me run these banditos over to prison, and I'll be back for you, all in lickety split. Of course, you feeling neighborly? You could just turn yourselves in. <laughs> as much as I like the idea of Sly in a cell, nobody kidnaps Inspector Carmelita Fox and gets away with it. I reckon that also includes tying her to a runaway stage. Watch it. I'm in no mood for smart remarks. Now, are you ready for another mission, Tennessee? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I mean, I surely am, Inspector Fox. Even though you kind of did not help all the way fully the situation, good job, Tennessee. Too bad you couldn't rescue Sly and them as well. Well, I do believe we have time for another mission. Let's go ahead and... What is she doing in our hideout? She's never in the hideout. But let's go ahead and see what we can do about rescuing Sly and them. If it ends up being too long of an episode, I will cut it and just make it two parts. Alright guys, so let's see what we can do over here in jailbreak. Um, this is going to be interesting. Sly actually got captured twice in this episode. It's kind of funny. But we do look like we are closing in. How did I never see this before? It looks like we're closing in towards the end of the episode as the... We've kind of reached the climax, or actually the following action. If we want to rec, you know, like reference literature, huh, got school tomorrow. Gosh, man, I hate school. I know a lot of you out there. Well, maybe some of you are older and have a job. I don't know. I'm pretty sure normally I have the views of the younger viewer, but 
I just real I used to love school back in elementary school. Dang it. But when it came to I liked middle school kinda too, but when I got to high school, I just I, I don't know why. It wasn't really the, the our work isn't really not that hard. Oh I'm tempted. We're going for it guys. How do I get up? Oh okay, I see where to go. I probably should have got sly for this, because he can run on the rails easier. But um I don't know, it's just, I got really tired. Like, I'm always tired all the time now. Like, I, I go to bed early. I'm not like a typical high school student and say it's like 2 in the morning and then get up. No. Sometimes I'll even go to bed like at 9. Like, or 8.30. Which is extremely early for me. Like, normally my, I go to bed like at, like, 11, I don't know. Maybe 12 sometimes. But, for like, a lot of times I go to bed at 9. I don't know why, but I, well... It's not, this is not good. I do not tell you, not tell you to do this, but a lot of times I have slept in class, and it can hurt your grade a lot. It has for me, so I recommend not doing that. <laughs> but that was really easy to get that here, and it's worth crap, man. These treasures suck. But um, yeah. So I, I, I don't. I really got on a random rant, but uh, yeah, that's really. I don't know. I'll probably edit this, set it to go for a file, and a lot of you don't get it. Like some, some of you comments like, "Oh, I need the next part and stuff." And I mean, like, why? I'm already finished the game. Why are you only on episode two? Well, yeah, I mean, if you play through it, it's a lot easier. But you gotta realize I gotta play it while commentating it, then edit it, and then render it, and then upload it. So there's a lot of things to do, and I have a terrible upload speed. So like, a video takes like an hour and a half to upload. Like, I'm pretty sure it, it once uploading is just finishing right now, so that really hard, uh, harms the thing. And then I got school, so I'm doing the best I can. This river is dangerous, but it leads back to the prison. Way I figure it, they won't be expecting us to come this way. Are you sure you're up to this, Miss Fox? Uh, that's Inspector Fox? But just call me Carmenita. Thanks for the rescue, by the way. My pleasure. Inspector? Are you some kind of sheriff? How'd you get mixed up with Sly? It's a long, complicated story. Right now, I need to rescue that ringtail. So I can wring his neck! Wee, you are feisty! You remind me of this one little gal who- So, what's this prison like, anyway? Uh, well, plenty of fire, for starters. Terrific. Let's get going. Okay, so we're actually just going around and shooting a lot of things with Carmelita. I'm wondering, and I kind of wish, or at least hope they do, the Guru's in it and stuff. You know, I love the Guru. Guru is awesome. Back in Sly 3. Well, he's going to keep shooting me. That's not going to help. But yeah, like I was like, I'm trying to do the best I can in getting videos up for you guys. At least have one part a day. Sometimes my I want to get three a day, but that's not always gonna happen. Why, what is shooting me? It's doing so much damage. I suck at accuracy. Oop. God, that does a lot of damage. Well, I guess there's a reason that the bad accuracy just comes natural to Carmelita's ever since if anybody played Sly 1, Thievius, or Kunis, her accuracy was so bad. It's hilarious, though. Carmelita? How about less sweet talk and more action? <laughs> Tennessee, it looks like you'll have to go on ahead. I'll find another way there.
Did anybody catch that error? Anybody catch it in the dialogue? She said I found another way there, but the dialogue said I find another way up. Uh-oh, messed up Sensor Games. Just randomly saw that. At least I think I saw that. Unless I'm not hallu unless I'm hallucinating. I don't know if anybody caught that. If, oh, I mean, it's obvious nobody caught it if it didn't happen, but I'm pretty sure I saw that. Yeah, this is probably going to go into two parts, just because this is going to take a while. I can just tell already. But I didn't, I didn't want to make a 10-minute episode, so I don't know where I'm cutting this off. I have to figure that out when I edit. Alright, so the one thing about enemies in with Tennessee, you can just do that, and bam. It's one hit shot. One hit kill, one hit shot. I guess you can say that. What do you say, Swayson? What is shooting at me? Anything else? Oh! Good lord, it takes a lot of bullets. Alright, but we made it. Let's pull the switch. Obviously, I'm on my way. Did he just say you're a real cactus blocker? Okay, not. I don't know. I didn't hear it right. Crap! That's unfair. How am I supposed to get all those? And you blast those dang jackalopes. I knew it was gonna happen. Oh well, at least we got a full health wrap. Just locking on to everything, but I don't know which episode I said it in, but it's one of the recent ones where I said I'm I was planning on like recording my new LP tonight. I'm not spoiling it, but I cannot decide on what it is. I have like so many things I'm like should it be that? Should it be that? No. Oh my god. That's... What the heck? Goodness. But, um... I just really cannot decide. <laughs> I keep on, like... Just keep on making up different things like... Maybe I should be that. No. Oh, I thought I had to shoot a TNT barrel for that. Those steers up there mean business. Huh, that switch looks kinda important. One thing I haven't pointed out yet that I really like is the soundtrack in the game. Like the atmosphere, the thing. I was just riding around like pickpocketing enemies and stuff. And the soundtrack is just awesome for this world, at least. I can't really remember the last one with uh, Ryuichi, but I don't know. But I. Th but um, this soundtrack is like awesome. I I really always when I was a little kid I used to like West. I don't know if anybody ever watched this one little. It's like a kid show. I don't know if it was a show, but movies. Um, crap. What was it called? It's actually my name too. Uh, it's called the Odyssey, and the main character's name was Dylan. At least I think it was called the Odyssey. Get him. Just go ahead and get these two, and that one. Oh, what an awesome! What an awesome! Did I really just say that? Come out! You suck! I might just go on normally. Oh well, there we go, we made it to the switch. Apparently it looks important. Get your boots on, gang! Tennessee's on the way! 
Oh. But, um... Okay, Carmelita, I'm not dumb. Yet again. But, um... What would be really cool or whatever... Is, like... <laughs> or not cool, but pretty ironic and funny. If it's, like, Tennessee, like, try to use a pickup line... And use the, you know, the classic... You're the young ten, I see. You know, with Carmelita! Okay, he missed. I can see that. I can see that, dude. Because, you know, Sly always had the typical, like, really crappy humor, but it was still funny because it was so retarded. Like, the little jokes and stuff. It's telling me to look back there, but I can't. Follow me, Tennessee! Why did she have to say, why did she say, well, you're going to have to go on from here on out or whatever, when she can just jump that high? You go on. I'll stay here and cover you. Uh, come on, Tennessee kid, just release them. Come over here where you can shoot them all. And bam, bam. What happened? And bam. Carmelita! Are you alright? I am. No thanks to you. I should leave you in that cage after what you pulled, Sly Cooper. I know. Look, I can explain everything. Why, well, if it wasn't for this handsome and charming gentleman, I wouldn't even be here. Aw, shucks. Handsome and charming? Really? Look, Carmelita, I know... Save it, Sly. All I want to know right now is how I get back to Paris. Actually, Carmelita, I was more curious how you got here in the first place. But guys, where's the van? We'll have to track it down later, Murray. Now, what were you saying, Carmelita? It's a long story, Bentley. Let's get moving and I'll tell you. Well, good job, Tennessee. I'm really proud of you, sir. Let's see how Carmelita actually got here, and let's see if Sly can smooth her back over. It looks like she's falling for his 400, 400 year old great, 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 great daddy. When I saw that arrogant little, that no good lion, ooh, I should have tied his mangy tail around his neck. I should have blasted that smug look right off his face. I, I, I. I should probably just finish my story. After the Cooper gang escaped at the museum, I decided to follow my nose and take a look around. I'd been investigating the trading of stolen antiquities on the black market, but I'd never guessed that two-faced ringtail was involved. Then as I turned a corner, I was stunned to see a huge stash of stolen treasure right there in the museum. And even more shocking, Cyril Le Paradox himself unloading them. I couldn't believe it. The billionaire art collector and museum patron was behind this? I was so surprised that by the time I reacted, his goons already had me covered. Then that slimy, sawed-off runt had me thrown into some vile machine. And the next thing I knew, I was playing cowboys and criminals. The Old West? Time travel? It was completely loco. Sure, Le Paradox had done some time in his youth, but he'd been squeaky clean ever since. And Interpol had never considered him a suspect. There were rumors about the source of his wealth, but nothing had ever been proven. Now, I knew I'd solved that mystery. And of course, Cooper and his little friends were involved somehow. Why was I not surprised? 
The flea bag tried to feed me some story about having to rob the museum to save the future. But I was done listening to that liar. I needed to get back to Paris. But that toad toothpick had stolen Murray's van and Bentley's time machine along with it. I finally cracked the case and now I was stuck in this lousy dust bowl with the Cooper gang. I don't know what made me angrier. Not being able to bust the lowlife skunk or being trapped here with that lying ringtail. Ooh. The only bearable thing about this whole mess was that at least Cooper's ancestor was a gentleman. That's really rude there, Carmelita. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next part, guys. We will do this Murray mission. He has an available job called Grand He... Something. <laughs> Did not even see what it was said. But, um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next part, and I'll see you guys then.